Hi, in this video, we're going to introduce about some special angle, right? Uh, so the value of some special angle here. All right, so as you know that sine 0, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree, degrees, so they have a special value, right? Uh, which uh, in we are encouraging students to very uh, uh, familiar with this Value. For example, I will know that sine 30 is 1 over 2, right? And cos 60 is 1 over 2, right? Uh, so we are very uh, we need to be very familiar with, with this value. So now let's look at this. How 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 to getting all that value, right? So uh, that you memorize. I think most of you have already understood uh, know that what is the value here, right? Because uh, you have learning this in your secondary school. So everything starts from okay. I I I may derive using uh first I may using a equilateral triangle right an equilateral triangle so equilateral triangle means that the, the side have all the same length right uh, equilateral triangle where the interior angle here will be 60 and all will be 60 degree and this will also be 60 degree all right so i just let this to be a unit equilateral triangle means that all is one unit the length of the side all is one unit, right? Uh, is one, so everything here is one. All right. So now I'm going to uh, draw a perpendicular bisector. The perpendicular bisector from the vertices here to the base here. So the perpendicular bisector, uh, because this is an equilateral triangle, right? This is an equilateral triangle. So when I draw a perpendicular. Uh, bisector so when I draw here you are getting a 90 degree right uh, it's a perpendicular bisector which divide these two into two equal length right into two equal length so <coughs> as I know that uh, this will be uh, one and this will be half right uh, so this will be half so because I divide this into two equal parts. So because this is one, so one over two here also will be one over two, right? So, and if you're talking about this is a perpendicular bisector, this two triangle will be symmetry, right? Symmetry. And of course here you will have 30 degree. Uh, you have 30 degree, you have 60, and you have 90 here, right? So then I redraw this thing, means I cut this thing out, into a perpendicular, uh, a right angle triangle, right? With this one is one over two, and this one is one, right? Uh, this one is one. So, and this one is the angle of 60, uh, 60, and this is 30, right? So very simple. So as you see that, uh, one over two, one. So ba based on Pythagoras theorem, so I, I, I need uh, another value for this side, so I need this side here, so I have to use Pythagoras theorem. So Pythagoras is one square. Uh, the hypotenuse, the, the, the side that opposite to the right angle is the hypotenuse, the longest, the, the length. So which is uh, one over two square, right? One over two square plus width. Okay, I, I let this to be uh, x, all right? x, so x power of two, right? So then I know that x power of 2 will be x power of 2 will be 1 Pythagoras theorem. So c square equals to a square plus b square. Right? So then you have uh, 1 minus with 1 over 2 power of 2, which gives you 1 over 4. And you're getting 3 over 4. Right? So then you're getting uh, x to be square root. It's supposed to have a plus minus. Positive negative, but x is represent the length, right? x is a length of a side. Uh, so we are taking the positive value. So 3 over 4. So which gives you square root of 3 over 2, right? So means easily you can know that uh, this side here is square root of 3 over 2, right? So you have all the length. You have one. Uh, this is the length of the side of an equilateral triangle. 60, 60, 60. Why this is 30? Because you draw a perpendicular bisector to the base. So which make up here 90, this one 60, and this one 30. You divide this into two equal 
uh, because they are symmetric. Right? So now, okay, you have all this value. So easily you can generate the value for uh, sine 30, right? Because you see that you have 30 here. Uh, you have sine 30, you can generate the value of cos 30 by looking at the triangle. And uh, of course, you also can get the sine 60 and the cos 60, right? So sine 30, sine. So based on sine, opposite. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, right? Sine 30 is opposite, opposite over hypotenuse which is 1 over 2 divided by 1. So you are getting 1 over 2, right? So it means sine 30 is 1 over 2. So from here, you know that uh, your sine 30 is 1 over 2, right? Okay. So now, let's see cos 30, right? Uh, cos 30. Cos 30 is adjacent. This is hypotenuse. Uh, sorry, this is opposite side. This is adjacent side. And this is hypotenuse, right? So cos 30 is adjacent, uh, adjacent over with the length of hypotenuse, which is 1. So which gives you square root of 3 over 2. So then you know that cos 30 is square root of 3 over 2, right? Uh, now you know the value. So again, so how about sine? Uh, how about sine 60 here, right? Sine 60 here. So sine 60, the opposite will be this side here, opposite. This will be your adjacent. The one that opposite, the side that opposite to 90 degrees is hypotenuse. So this is uh, sine 30 is opposite, uh, opposite over with the length of hypotenuse, which gives you square root of 3 over 2, right? So it means that uh, sine 60 is square root of 3 over 2, right? And for cos 60, for cos 60, you will have adjacent over hypotenuse, right? Adjacent over hypotenuse. 1 over 2 divided by 1, which gives you 1 over 2. So cos 60 will be 1 over 2, right? So very easy. So now, uh, so uh, after this, we're going to generate the other value for, for uh, all this. Right. By now, you can know that tangent 30, right? Uh, tangent 30, we look at this, uh, this column here first. So tangent, as you know that tangent theta is the same as sine theta divided by cosine theta, right? Sine theta divided by cosine theta. For example, I have tangent 30 degree. Uh, tangent 30 degree is sine 30, 1 over 2, divided by cos 30, right? Which give you, you multiply 2 up and down, then you are getting 1 over square root of 3. Uh, then you know that this is 1 over square root of 3. And same thing here also for tangent 60. Uh, tangent 60, tangent theta is sine over cos. So it's sine 60 over with cos 60. So sine 60, square root of 3 over 2. Uh, so divide by 1 over 2. You can write this way also. It's the same thing. So as you know that uh, if you convert this to multiply, this one will become 2 over 1, which is 2 cancelling. You will get square root of 3. So it means that tangent 60 is square root of 3. This you were getting from by dividing sine 30 with cos 30. Tangent 60 is cos 60 minus uh, sine 60 minus uh, cos 60 here. So, okay, in the same video also, I'm going to generate the value for 45. All right, uh, 45. So, let's see. All right, let's continue with uh, the value of 45, right? This three. So, uh, and this one, I will talk about a right angle triangle, a right angle triangle or a isosceles triangle, right? Isosceles triangle that have two equal sides, right? And 90 degree. And this is the isosceles triangle. Sergi tiga, sama kaki. Eh? So now I'm going to let this one to be one. Isosceles, though they have the same length. 
So, of course, if this is isosceles, this is 90, the angle and this angle will be the same, right? Because 90, total up must be 180. 180 minus 90, you have uh, another 90. 90 divided by 2, you will have 45 here. Uh, each, you have 45. The angle will be the same because this is an isosceles triangle. So, what is the length of this side, right? Uh, what is the length of this side? So, this is the hypotenuse. So, it's x square equals to 1 square uh, plus width, 1 square. So, x will be the square root of 2, right? So, and you know that this one will be a square root of 2. So, very simple. So, from here, you can know sine 45, you can know cos 45, and you also can know uh, tangent 45 as well. So, very simple. So, sine 45 here. Sine 45 here, uh, sine 45, either one, 45, opposite, uh, opposite, over, hypotenuse, right? Cos 45, adjacent, also one, over, hypotenuse, square root of two. So, tangent 45, opposite, over, adjacent, one, right? Or you can take sine 45 divided by cos 45, same thing, you divide, you're also getting 1. So it means I know uh, the value here will be 1 over square root of 2, 1 over square root of 2, and this will be 1, right? Uh, this will be 1. So how about sine 0, right? As you know that graphically, if you know that uh, sine 0, so sine 0 will be 0. You can using the graphical uh, to see. Cos 0, you will having 1, right? Uh, and this one, you need to refer to the, to the graph, right, sign. So, for the first quadrant, now this one from 0 to 90 is the first quadrant, right? From 0 uh, to 90. So, you know that the graph for sign will be moving this way, right? Uh, from 0 to 90 means that, okay, as you know that the graph for sign, it will be sinusoidal so where here 0 and this will be uh, sorry this is 0 this will be 90 and this one will be 180 and this will be 270 and this will be 360 all right we just talked about the first quadrant here you see that sine 0 it will be 0 cos 0 okay let's see the cost here cost cost will be starting from 1 the maximum here is 1 the minimum is negative 1 and this also, it starts from 1 and moving this way, right? Uh, so this is 90, and this is 0, 180, 270, this one is 360. So if you look at cos 0, this will be 1, right? 1. So during cos 0, it will be 1. This is the graph for cos. So cos 0, it will be 1. Sin 0 will be 0. So cos 90, Sine 90, it will be 1, right? But for cos 90, it's an x-intercept, so it will be, the y will be 0, right? So, ta tangent 0 degree, 0 divided by 1, you have 0, right? Uh, you have 0. But if you see that uh, sine 90 is 1, cos 90 is 0. So, you cannot divide a number by 0, right? So, it's undefined, you know, undefined. So, I can say it's approaching infinity. It's actually approaching infinity. So when you divide by uh, a number, then you know, okay, when we talk about limits, we will talk about this section here. All right. So now what we're interested is about the values here. All the values here. Right? Uh, so okay, this is how I construct the, the value of the special angle here. So later I'm going to use all this value to evaluate some of the uh, angle that in the first quad uh, from the first to the fourth quadrant. Alright, that's all for this uh, video.